Hello, everyone. This is Phoebe Yuan from Office Platform Team, and actually, I'm located in Beijing. Uh, next section, I'd like to share the latest updates on new Word APIs. And this time, we've added Word APIs around several areas, mainly targeting at improving capabilities in citation management and content insertion scenarios. And all of these APIs will be in preview in Word Online. First, covering comments, track changes, and fields. The comments and track changes APIs are already available in Word Online uh, in preview. And the fields APIs will be uh, the fields APIs are still in rolling out process and will be available in preview very very soon. So if you would like to have a try, please remember to add the cha uh, change requirement set to the Word API online because uh, these are uh, available only for Word Online so far. Okay, now let's go to even more details of these APIs. On um, the first set of APIs are comments related. Um, we've provided rich text format, format supporting comments, so you can set rich text as bold, italics, under, underline, and etc. It will be very straightforward and easy to manage uh, all of the rich formatting inside the comments. We also provide um, common IDs, so each comment can be monitored in the Word document very smoothly. You can refer to the table at the right hand for the more details. And next, I'd like to show a small demo made of GIF and also to save some of the bandwidth. And also, I took the snapshot from Squid Lab to give you a kind of a concept of how straightforward these APIs are. And there are two small scenarios in this demo. One is inserting text uh, with bold font, and the other is to add hyperlinks into the comments. So you can have more control in the in the comments text, just like the normal text inside a Word document through these APIs. OK, these are the APIs for the comments with rich text and ID. The next uh, set of APIs are around track changes. So track changes is the feature on building Word that keeps track of all of the edits made to the documents and uh, will benefit people when they are doing the uh, reviewing and and let people to make comments based on these track changes results. In Word, this is a very, very popular feature when reviewing document. And in previously, we got continuous feedback and uh, asks around enabling these capabilities through JS APIs. So today, we are uh, very happy to announce that these APIs are actually available in preview mode for Word Online. So with track changes, you can set a different track changes mode to the document. And you can also check the um, original contents before reviewing and the reviewed contents as well. And next, uh, let me show also show you a small demo on this. Um, uh, you can simply set the track changes mode with th three different values, which are the uh, off, uh, just mine, and for everyone, just like you can do in the UI, uh, in the Word UI. And sorry, there are too many buttons here. Uh, in my demo, but just want to show you that uh, it, besides setting the mod, mo, uh, modes, you can also check the status of the document for the track changes. And the last few of buttons, printing related, just want to show you, OK, you can check the uh, values before the track changes. Uh, and also the original value uh, in our case uh, is uh, you can see the small, small column there, which is deleted by someone. So with all uh, these APIs available, we hope that for like document reviewing, we can enrich the scenarios for our add-ins. The next part, uh, I like to show you the set of APIs around the fields object. Now the fields APIs are still in the rolling out process, and uh, it's very likely to be in place for preview like in one or one and a half months. Because in Word Online, the fields feature is not available yet. So our first scenario is to enable getting fields object created by Windows or Mac. So please stay tuned for these APIs and they are coming on the way. OK, I think I've covered all of the uh, new APIs already in preview and uh, uh, which are in the way uh, to preview. Uh, so please do have a try of these new APIs and let us know any feedback you have before we finally GA them. 
And uh, currently, we are also busy um, preparing the documentation and will be published quite soon. So please check our docs website for more details on these APIs, which will cover more samples uh, there. OK, and I think that's the that's the update from the word side. Any questions in this? And if you have more questions around APIs, especially after you try this, I also leave my email here in the chat so you can contact me directly. OK, thank you. Thank you. Back to you, David. All right, thank you, Phoebe. It's really cool seeing all those APIs coming along for Word. Thank you.